The name's Scott Lockyer, the job title's Team Leader Materials, responsible for managing a team of 13 people. Uh, we're involved with things like failure investigations, so when a component fails on the power station, we're asked to actually investigate it. We also do uh, quite a significant amount of research and development work. It's very challenging. Uh, you're getting uh, a range of different things to do every day because as well as obviously managing the team I'm also involved in doing work myself I don't just sit there and direct people I'm actually at least 50% of my job is involved on practical work I find it um, fulfilling I look forward to going to work um, I enjoy it it's just good fun I don't really think I knew what I wanted to do I remember getting to um, into the fifth year at school now I would have been uh, 15 at the time not really knowing what I'd do, you, you choose subjects you want to do, and you know, I the best subjects. I, I, my best subjects were history and geography and metalwork. Engineering was the automatic choice mainly because I'd grown up in a, an environment where my dad was always buying old lawnmowers, chainsaws, whatever else, and doing them up, getting them working, selling them on. Same with cars and stuff. So I grew up in an environment where taking things apart and putting them back together again was something that was was normal, was what you did. And my dad would let me help out, and my brother would help out and stuff. So I, got, I was used to doing those sorts of things, so it seemed, the, in many ways, the easy option to try and formalise that. I chose to go to a commute 20 miles each way to a college, local college, to do a uh, uh, tech course, technician's engineering course for a year, which allowed me then to go on to the course which I want, was the BTEC Diploma in Technology course. The careers teacher was very sort of proactive and, you know, don't just restrict yourself to that. You can do more, you can go to polytechnic, you can go to university, which to me at age 17 was an absolute revelation. You know, coming from a small country town, university was something you didn't do. And I, you know, I went to Liverpool University, did a, did a degree in uh, metallurgy and material science. Came out with a 2-1 uh, and then subsequently went on and did a, did a PhD. I haven't finished the PhD, I decided uh, I've had enough of education, so I went travelling for uh, quite a few months. I was in Bali for probably about five weeks and then went off travelling around in, you know, Indonesia from there. And It's really, it's quite scary at first because you really are in a completely different, it's like going to university or going to college for the first time, but it's even worse because you're miles from home. There is no one there to sort of really provide that security for you. So I think I learned a lot about independence, learned a lot about myself in terms of how I react to those situations. If I look back and I see there's a number of people who've been supportive, my mum was always very supportive, you know, I was taken to say, whatever you want to do, you know, if you apply yourself, work hard, then you should get it. You know, it's a case of, you know, believing in yourself, believing that those opportunities are available and you should, you've got to take them. And that's happened through, you know, having good teachers who made you want to go on further and achieve these things. Work is still important to me, but my children are also important to me. And I think that's, you have to make that balance. And I think, you know, I'm quite lucky that I've, you know, I will do the long hours if, if needs be, but I also am very aware that you know that I have a responsibility that to, you know, to look after children and give them the best possible possible start as well. And it's also fun; they're fun to be with. They say some some you know, ridiculous things sometimes. I'm being told off by a three and a half year old now. It's, it's not fair. For me personally, in terms of job security, it feels very secure. It feels like a business that you know there's a lots of things going on in terms of developments within the role. I I, I think I've just seen how things develop. I, I do have a, a love of the technical work and it may be that at some point I'd like to sort of jump back into doing that, uh, maybe as, as what, what we term it, currently term as a technical head or as a sort of a, a senior technical consultant role. People have been there at the right place, the right time to give me the right advice, maybe to take a bit of, take a gamble with me, but I've also actually always worked hard, always said, you know, if you apply yourself as hard as you can, then you should be able to achieve what you want.